Hey folks, it's me, M64 Bros, and one of my fans have requested me to do a video about this topic, so let's get in right to it. Earlier ago, my friend Dark Doctor sent me an article that Williams Lair, I'm just gonna call it Lair because I can't pronounce it correctly, so apologies. They mentioned something about their ROMs getting deleted and removed from the website. Earlier ago, everyone was just freaking out about it, saying it's a troll. It's actually Nintendo and Sega and, quote, Lego, surprisingly. And yeah, I've heard about the situation as well. I'm already seeing some big YouTubers making a big deal saying, Nintendo and Sega hate you and their games, blah, blah, blah. And honestly, I'm starting to think the whole companies hated you topic and debate is starting to get extremely annoying as hell. Yeah, yeah, we criticize company however the hell we like, but remember, it could be our faults as well. Remember what happened with the MJ voice actor in the Smash community? That's a whole other topic I'm going to explain about the, at a later date with more depth. But here's another thing. Maybe if the PC pirate ding-dongs have been self-promoting piracy, monetizing their emulators, or even saying emulators are better than other consoles on the internet 24-7, none of this crap would ever happen. Lastly, and the important part, why would you whine and cry over something on the internet if it's gonna stay on the internet forever? There are multiple alternate ways to get emulators and ROMs still on the internet however you like. Pocket emulators that can play NES, Sega Genesis, PlayStation 2 games. You can easily get off Amazon or eBay depending on the price. Along with a bunch of successful Wii releases that have been released on Xbox Series S, PlayStation, and Nintendo Switch as well. I pretty much have a bunch of classic games. Some of them are remakes, some of them are remasters, but some of them mimic the original, but yeah. What I'm precisely saying is there are a bunch of easier alternative ways to play a bunch of classic games through the internet or officially, easily. Like I've mentioned, whatever something gets uploaded on the internet and gets taken down stays on the internet forever and there are multiple ways for it to still be available for people to download. I just find this whole argument debate extremely stupid and annoying. So by the end of the day, the complainers are pretty much crying over nothing literally nothing other than that that's it for this video hope you guys find this video really interesting and hopefully some people will agree with me as well if you disagree with me then that's totally fine now if you'll excuse me i'm planning on getting star wars bounty hunter on my playstation 5 for nine bucks and 99 cents